which if it's too warm for you, 80 degrees, those storms will help to, to cool things off. I, I heard a lot of complaints from the peanut gallery yesterday that, oh, mom, it's hot. I can't make them happy. I'll tell you what. It was beautiful, though. It was so nice. And as things started to cool down last night, we had a beautiful evening. This morning, you're stepping out the door to upper 50s, low 60s. This afternoon, we're going to be right around 80 degrees. So a good-looking dog walking forecast. There is going to be a better chance, though, for a few thunderstorms a little closer to the metro area today. Right now, you can see some of the cloud cover that we're waking up to. It's 62 degrees, though, here in town. You're going to find upper 50s and low 60s early on. Arvada, 58. Centennial right now, 65. We're at 66 in Watkins, a really mild start to our morning. Those clouds ha helping to trap in some of that heat that we saw yesterday. And compared to yesterday, it's a good 10 to 11 degrees warmer than the same time early Thursday morning. Now you can see some of the cloud cover here over the eastern plains and then some of the wet weather exactly where we need it out on the western slope where drought conditions have been extreme and exceptional uh, really all year long. And we're going to continue to see a few scattered storms and showers there, which is a good spot for it. You'll notice those storms that pop up here in town. By 9 o'clock this morning, we're in the upper 60s, close to 70. Still dry through midday, 12 o'clock lunchtime. Highs are going to be in the upper 70s, and then we'll see a few of those storms developing. There's going to be a better chance for some severe weather off to the east of I-25. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Highs near 80, calmer conditions tonight by about 1030, and it looks like we're actually going to see some really pretty baseball weather here in town. The Rockies back in town and first pitch at 640. Early tomorrow morning, again, waking up to some cloud cover. There's a better chance of storms here a little closer to the metro area tomorrow afternoon. You can see that's right around 3, 330. So for any afternoon games or practice, there is going to be a risk for some larger hail and damaging winds. Today's risk of severe weather you can see is just off to the east of I-25. Tomorrow, that risk is going to shift a little closer to the metro area in green, a marginal risk, yellow, a slight chance. So we'll be tracking potentially some larger hail, damaging winds, and even some isolated tornadoes over the northeastern corner of the state. It'll stay pretty active on Sunday, too. Highs will be in the low to mid 70s both Saturday and Sunday. And then next week, things do seem to clear out. We're expecting, Jason, quite a bit more sunshine on Monday.